Hello, how are you doing? It's Amin another time with you and this time it will be uh, about data structures in Python. Mm, so we will go to have more one lists right here and for example if we want to append um, to add an element to this list we would append it this way. Uh, we can do it also with another way it would be uh, to append uh, an element um, with the slicing of the list we have seen before and if we slice after the, the length of A we can add the, the elements after the slice we can also use the extent method we can extend add the list to a list here we would add an element and here is to extend the list uh, with another list uh, forward extend actually there is a difference between extend and append if we take for example if we up we do an append here we will have um, a list a nested list which is uh, different than the flattened list here in extend in here we uh, we can also append uh, extend list uh, this way using the slicing comprehension we can also insert an element, an element at uh, the index 0, we will insert 10, so at index 0 we insert 10. Or we can remove an element by its value, here we remove element by uh, the value 2, um, yeah, the element that has the value 2. Here, um, here we have the pop uh, function, it pops the last elements of the list and returns the it, it also returns uh, the elements if it pops it it can return it here so here you can see that it pops the three and returns the three and we have the a and also we can pop one for example and it will pop uh, the elements by the by the index by the identifier or by the uh, id here which is one is two that pops out. Um, next forward would be the clear. So this one will clear the list. Ooh, I have, okay, I will just maybe clear the output. We okay, clear. We have also uh, delete uh, the list, so it's the same as clear. So it's not delete a here. We we. We have to be cautious if we do a delete a something else. Here we delete the con we clear the content of the list, but if we delete a, we'll delete the whole variable a, and we'll have um, name error. A is not defined. Next will be uh, to get the index of two. Will be one. So it gets an index by the value. Mm, if we have uh, two two, it will get uh, it will get the index of the first one. Mm, we can count the number of ones. Here we can see how many ones we have. We count the count function, and here we can reverse the list. And we have a uh, we a list reverse. There is also a function, uh, a way to do it with the the slices. Um, a uh, and we do it this way. So. Use a uh, usual way to, to do it to reverse the, the list. Uh, we can copy the list uh, in B. There we can copy it this way either by a.copy or by, uh, by, uh, by copying the contents of the list. But if we do something like this, A equal, uh, B B equal to A, okay, we have B, mm, we have A, so if we change B, uh, B, 1, 2, if we change B, we will have B like this, and A uh, like this, so we can also copy it like, like this, without changing the value of A. Um, using the list as uh, stacks, we can use the list as stacks. We have the append method and we have the pop methods. 
from the from the stack comprehension of data structures. Uh, we also have the using the list as queues here. Uh, the stack is uh, last in, uh, first out. Here last in was five, first out pop is out five. And here we have the list as queues. Uh, and here we have a list, we have three persons and we will add a fourth one, fifth one. And here we will pop. So here it's our first, uh, uh, first in, first out. So this guy was first. So if we pop left, we will uh, he will get out. It's the the concept of having a queue one after the other. And here we will pop a uh, pop left, and here we have our queue. And the, we will have just from Michael, Thierry, Graham that are left in the queue. Uh, we have we can have more on list comprehensions. Um, here. We have uh, we cons uh, we are trying to build a list of squares, uh, and we are squaring the elements uh, from uh, from zero to to nine. And here we can do the same. We have seen this uh, map function before a bit. So we map uh, this lambda function to the whole uh, iterable here. Next forward we can and we use the list here because map is a map object and here we have to list it here we can also do this kind of list comprehension where we do just x square uh, for x in range um, here we can also create those kind of tuples we will see tuples just uh, after this one and we can have like a, uh, a couple for x in 1, 2, 3 and for y in 3, 1, 4. If x uh, depends of y, we have the combinations here. Mm, so, uh, this is the same as twice in this one. So with list, this is what is list comprehension in, in, uh, in Python. So we, uh, the, the outer, book, uh, outer loop is always here. The inner loop is after it. And uh, we do the, the condition. So this up and the elements you append here is the elements you, you write it here and this has to be between this um, this uh, this parenthesis. Next we have a vector we create we do the list comprehension as we have seen we multiply each element by two. Here we can also like select just the elements that are superior to zero we can um, make uh, take the um, absolute uh, value of each element um, which is the positive make them positive um, here we have a list of fresh foods and here we can st strip there is a function which is strip a string function that we can take out these spaces from it and we have the list without spaces. We can use the same, create lists, a list of uh, elements from, one, uh, from just one, uh, one uh, variable iteration and create as much as we want, x, x, three. And we have them here. It's kind of this one. Mm. Uh, here we have a little error just to to make you s to show you if you don't use actually this parenthesis, uh, you have an error. So it, it, this parenthesis, you have to use them. Mm. This one it will flatten this list. So it's for number, uh, it's number for elements in vector uh, in vector. It's it, uh, elements in vector is this one and uh, for num in elements and for num in elements and it's like this one number in elements mm, we can also do more uh, advanced uh, operations with math pi and try to extend the rounding of pi uh, we can have also some nested lists uh, comprehension. For example, we have a matrix, like we have lists of lists, and it's a matrix, and we can transpose this matrix. We can transpose it the way it is done here. We can 
see if, uh, for example, this one is a bit more complicated. We can try to uh, to see how we do it. First, we we try to to uh, create a, trans a transposed matrix, which is uh, a transposed list, which is uh, empty, and uh, we do the outer loop, and we can append for each. Uh, for each loop, we can uh, for each iteration we can append the row of i. This uh, this um, row for yeah for row in matrix. So for row in matrix, this is row in matrix, and we'll append the row of i. This one, and we will uh, just append the row of i, row of uh, row of zero, row of one. Uh, in in vertically, we transpose it, or we can do it even just in our more planar way. This one is still using the list comprehension here. Here we can also flatten this uh, list comprehension um, in here without using it. So with list comprehension, you can really uh, go from uh, seven lines of code to one line of code. Here we have also a quite interesting um, Quite, uh, or you can do it just with built-in functions. Built-in functions, they are really, really strong and really, um, they really save a lot of time. Um, in here, you have, you have, uh, for example, the zip, like list uh, of zip, and you can zip the contents of the matrix. You can um, just unpack the matrix and try and, and zip it. So the, uh, it will zip this this one. Uh, it will zip them like this. It will combine these elements with these elements with these elements in a in a tuple. We'll see what is a tuple. It's like uh, just th think about it like a list. We have talked about it. It's like just some immutable list. Uh, they are like rows in a table or something. We'll, uh, we'll go into it uh, here, 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 and this is what zips do and. It makes them like here, so it transposes, uh, transpose, uh, it transpose the matrix as well. Here we can check the uh, the delete statement. So if we delete a of zero, we don't have this one anymore. Uh, if we delete the slice, so we will have we won't have the slice anymore from two to four, uh, from two to to four. So these two will pop out. And we can clear the the list, and we can just delete the whole variable completely. Here, there are, here are the tuples and sequences we are talking about. So a tuple we can define it this way. It's like okay, it's like um, you define a tuple like uh, this, for example, uh, name, uh, last name. One, two, three, four, like a pin or something, and you have you can access T zero here, for example. Uh, uh, you can access it like a list, and here you can uh, view the tuple. It will be uh, between parentheses instead of between brackets, and here you can also combine tuples. So you have this uh, first tuple and combine to this second tuple. It gives you even. Uh, uh, a, a combination of two tuples. He, this is what I was saying. The, the main difference between list and tuple is this one is that the tuples are immutable. So if you want to change the value of T0, you can't can change this value. Uh, but you can still have mu uh, mutable elements in the tuple. So this is, for example, a tuple, and if I want to do uh, <coughs> v zero of uh, zero equal um, equal uh, nine. I still can do it. I can actually change this the value of this one. So tuples are immutable, uh, but if they contain a mutable element in them, like immutable and unchangeable. If they contain some changeable elements inside of them, like a list, for example, we can change that element inside of it. But we can't change this element, like the, the element of the tuple, we can't change it. Like this one, 
we can change. But if we do something like this, uh, we, we won't, we, we can't do it. Since the tuple object does not support each assignment with type error. So next, we can, uh, there are two special cases actually uh, in the tuple is to uh, create tuples of uh, zero elements and of one element. So a tuple of zero elements would look like this. It's, um, it's an empty tuple. And uh, a tuple with uh, one element, we have to leave a trailing comma here. After the tuple, so here you see len of empty is zero, but still len of singleton is one. You can notice here, and it's it's not the length of the string, but it's length of the the tuple. And here you can see that singleton is actually a tuple, and it's totally okay to leave a trailing comma here for tuples. Here we can unpack the values of a tuple to um, the uh, to variables. Here you can see that we have the values in here from earlier from T. Um, and that's mostly it about uh, tuples. Next are the sets. Sets are um, co uh, collections that, are, that do not... Um, we actually, we create tuples with um, those curly brackets. And with sets, uh, the, the printing value, the return value is the value without the duplicates. If here you see we have apple, apple and orange, orange, we will have them just once. So that's what we have in this set. So, and we can test if orange is in baskets and it's really fast membership testing since you have just one uh, element of each. So here they say two. This is false, uh, this one is in baskets too, this is not in baskets, so it's false. And here we can do sets of some complicated letters and, uh, and here we can see, um, for example, here we can also see what, what is B. So here what uh, A minus B is letters that are in, those are sets operations like the mathematic, mathematical sets. Uh, so letters in A that are not in B, uh, A or B is the letters that are in A and in B, uh, A and B, it's letters, uh, the, here, just to say, when I say and, uh, to not really conf confuse you, uh, when I say uh, A or B, the, uh, the letters that are, uh, they should be like, letters have to be either in A or either in B, so uh, the whole collection of the letters, like the whole uh, the whole letters from A and B. But when we say A and B, they have uh, they have to be letters in A and in B. Those are like if you know the operations from mathematics, they are like those set operations. Uh, but if you're you you're not familiar with mathematics, that uh, it's uh, it's like this. It's like here it's the intersection. Uh, intersection of A and B, and here it's uh, it's it's uh, and also there it's those concepts are mathematical, but also like quite understandable semantically and humanly. And um, here it's uh, more the union of A and and B. Yeah, and here it's the the. So, uh, if you're familiar with with this uh, operator, and it's uh, in uh, a uh, or or but uh, in a or b, but not in both. Uh, uh, not the elements in both uh, the sets. For example, if you see here, we have a a. We won't have a here. So this. Uh, Actually, uh, you remove this intersection. Actually, it's 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 this. It's a. It's this. Actually, this one. It's equal to this one minus um, minus this one. This is actually even the. Dun, dun, dun. No, let's make it this way. We have to. Okay, this is the for even the formal definition of what is XOR. Or what is the um, 
like like um, like just uh, all the elements besides the inter uh, intersections, all the elements of both uh, sets besides the, uh, the intersection. This one is equal to this one. Um, next would be uh, to see uh, to use sets with least comprehension. All the actually all the most uh, all the operations that are in least com comprehension are also usable in set comprehension. Uh, next would be the dictionaries. So dictionaries are collections of key value elements. You see here there are plenty of key, yeah, there are key value elements. They are more like this. And um, you can also add more elements. Uh, this is the way you add elements in dictionaries. There is no append method. Uh, for example, tell dot append uh, something like uh, uh, this uh, x. This gives you an error. Dix has no attributes that is open. Yet you have this um, this uh, assignment here that allows you to add elements to dic uh, to the dictionary. If you want to open the way we do it with lists, you would do it this way with the assignments. Uh, tell of Jack. We can act here instead of accessing the. Um, Instead of accessing the, the data with the index, we access it with the, the key value. So here, Jack, here we will access it with Jack and we access to this uh, information here. If we delete uh, the tell of save and we uh, create a new one, I, uh, IRV 4127, so we have the new one without uh, this one. So let's say you want to upda update uh, this SAP uh, guy with IRV and you, you, you have it this way. Mm. So you can also list list of tell, like what is tell, like the list, if you, you apply the list function on tell, um, it will give you the list of keys here. Let's say uh, return, return, returns the list of keys. Here, if you sort tell, so sorted of tell, it's also like it sorts, it sorts just the keys. So it's always uh, it returns the list of uh, the keys that are sorted. So here, uh, guide intel. So we have. Uh, so if uh, the membership, uh, the membership uh, we use uh, the membership um, operator we're using here, it's uh, to uh, assess the membership in the list of the keys. The same here, we can assess it with not in, um, and actually it's false because Jack is Intel. So here we can also create a dictionary this way by a list of tuples of uh, value, uh, uh, key value, key value. It's a list of tuples and it gives us a dict with the dict function. We can create it this way by having a two dots here, like uh, between x and x squared. Uh, and we can do it this way with the keyword uh, with keyword assignments like it, um, with keyword arguments and we can create the, dic uh, the dictionary here we can go forward with looping techniques on the dictionaries so actually if we want to loop on this dictionary we dictionary we will do it with the key value in the dict.items. So we have to, to specify that's the items. Because uh, if we say just night, nights without items, it's just the, the keys, like we have seen here. Just thinks about, uh, we think, uh, they think about dictionaries in terms of keys. 
Um, so here we can we can have it. Uh, we print the key and the value key value key value key value key value. Um, we can also do this way here. Um, this enumerate function, which is a very useful function of uh, of Python, it gives us a dictionary out of uh, a list. For example, let's say you have a list. <coughs> you have a list, and um, you have a list, and uh, this list is uh, it's just a normal list. And you want actually to have this index and the value, so you do this enumerate, and it gives you kind of uh, this format of key value. So key value key value key value, and the key uh, the key of of those it's uh, it's actually i. Mm. Uh, forward would be to to have uh, to come back to this uh, zip function. Maybe we understand this better here. Um, is that here it will combine these two and these two and these two together. Each uh, it will combine them together, and for each one that is combined together, we'll check the first one and second one. So it will be name. Then slot quest this this this. So what is your uh, your name? It is Lancelot. Format uh, QA this way. So uh, zip function can also like return this kind of uh, key value element, and we we use it with this format function where we we insert. We will see more about format functions and outputs uh, in this uh, in the next chapters as well and it just plugs this Q in here and A in here and we have name quest favorite and Lancelot Holy Grail Clue mm, here we, we have we can uh, we can reverse uh, there are some functions here about on looping you can reverse this range, for example, and print it. Um, with re reverse, we have sorted and reversed um, functions. Here we have sorted, for example, and we have baskets, and we ha we will sort them alphabetically and print them. Um, we also have sorted offsets. We can like remove the duplicates, so we can combine uh, multiple functions, and it comes really handy. That's why. It's Pretty concise to write in Python since you can combine a lot, and here we can uh, do something even more um, uh, more advanced. Um, and especially sometimes you have some uh, complicated data. It's always better to filter the data first and later on um, uh, use your data for whatever reason you want to use it. And here you can filter. In the data and uh, for value in all data, if not math, uh, math dot is none of value. This is what is math is none, and uh, filter data dot open. So we add the data, uh, we add uh, the value in the filtered data, and we return the filtered data. So this is it. I hope you enjoy, enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe and see you for the next one. See you.